Many people who are looking to purchase their first motorcycle will often ask why a two-stroke bike has a power band. This is a valid question, as it can be confusing for someone new to the world of motorcycles. In this video, we will explore what a power band is and why two-stroke engines have one. Why does a two-stroke bike have a power band? A two-stroke bike has a power band because of the engine design. The valves are sized and timed so that the piston is in the correct position to create the power stroke. The power stroke is when the piston is at the top of the stroke and the exhaust valve is open. This allows the exhaust gases to escape and the fresh air, fuel mixture to enter the cylinder. The mixture is then compressed by the piston as it goes down in the stroke. This creates a lot of pressure in the cylinder which forces the mixture to ignite and expand. The expanding gases push on the piston and cause it to go up in the stroke. This produces power which is used to turn the crankshaft and eventually drive the wheels. The power band is a result of how well the engine is designed. And how efficiently it can convert fuel into power. Does a four-stroke have a power band? A four-stroke engine does have a power band. But it is much more linear than that of a two-stroke engine. The power band of a four-stroke engine is the range of RPMs. At which the engine produces its maximum power. The power band of a two-stroke engine, on the other hand, is much narrower and peakier. This is because a two-stroke engine relies on a higher RPM to maintain its power output. Whereas a four-stroke engine is able to produce its maximum power at lower RPMs. As a result, a four-stroke engine will typically have a smoother and more linear power delivery than a two-stroke engine. How do I know what engine power band I have? One way to determine your engine's power band is to use the formula HP equals torque x RPM divided by 5252. This will give you a good idea of the range of speeds at which your engine produces peak power. Keep in mind that most automotive engines produce power in a wide band of engine speed. So this is only one tool that you can use to identify your engine's power characteristics. Other factors such as air, fuel mixture, ignition timing, and camshaft design can also affect an engine's power output. By experimentally testing your engine under a variety of conditions, you can get a more complete picture of its power-producing capabilities. Do electric motors have a power band? One of the main differences between electric motors and internal combustion engines is that electric motors don't have a power band. In an internal combustion engine, the power band is the range of speeds at which the engine produces its maximum power output. However, electric motors make their maximum torque at the stall, which is when they're not moving. This means that electric motors can produce their maximum power output at any speed, making them much more efficient than internal combustion engines. As a result, electric motors are becoming increasingly popular in a wide range of applications. From automobiles to aircraft. Why do electric motors lose torque at high RPM? When an electric motor is running at high speed, the back EMF generated by the rotating armature can start to have an effect on the torque output of the motor. The reason for this is that the back EMF cancels out some of the force exerted by the magnetic field on the armature, resulting in a reduction in torque. The amount of torque lost will depend on the speed of the motor and the strength of the back EMF, with more torque being lost at higher speeds. Additionally, some types of electric motors are more affected by back EMF than others which is why some motors are designed to run at lower speeds. My final thoughts, a two-stroke engine has a power band because it is designed to produce its maximum power output at higher RPMs. This is due to the way that two-stroke engines work, with the mixture being compressed by the piston and then ignited by the spark plug. The expanding gases then push on the piston and cause it to go up in the stroke. This produces power which is used to turn the crankshaft and eventually drive the wheels. The power band is a result of how well the engine is designed and how efficiently it can convert fuel into power.